This might just be the most exciting bit of tech we featured here on the channel. The uh, M1 is unique for a few reasons, but the one that stands out most is the portability. This is by far the smallest projector I've seen and it looks damn good too. Easily the most well-designed portable projector. I believe it actually won a design award and it shows here. You get what looks like a portable Bluetooth speaker, but flip down the lens cover which doubles as a 360 degree kickstand and you've got yourself one of the coolest looking projectors. When talking anything portable, durability comes into mind because portable devices tend to see a bit more abuse, right? Tumbling around in backpacks and all that. Well, the M1 is a solid piece of hardware. It's tank like build quality can definitely take a beating and for some added protection against scratches and such, ViewSonics included a felt carrying pouch. Nice touch. Now, while the M1 is a portable projector, you're not really missing out on any ports or anything. You've still got your HDMI to hook up to game consoles uh, like the Switch, which would actually be a perfect companion to this little guy. You've also got your USB port, headphone, type C, and even a micro SD card reader, which is perfect. You can load it up with all your movies, TV shows, just all your media and play everything directly off of that. Great for when you're not near any outlets because yes, the uh, M1 does have a built-in battery. Now, I was a bit nervous about how long it would actually last because unfortunately, none of the reviewers were really talking about that. Thankfully, it can go the distance. Uh, I was able to consistently get about three to four hours per charge. And if I enabled battery saving mode, that increased closer to six. And you can actually check the battery status via the battery indicators on the side. That's awesome. There's a ton of features packed into the M1 that make it ideal for a quick run and gun type projector setups. The most important being the built-in speakers. Now, these are tuned by Harman Kardon, and trust me when I say these things pack a punch. So much so that you've even got a Bluetooth speaker only function for when you just want to listen to, you know, music, podcasts, you just want to hear your media, not really watch it. Now, I absolutely love that feature because it really eliminates the need to lug around any sort of speakers. Now, if you wanted to, sure, you can uh, lug around some extra speakers and hook them up via the aux port to this thing, but you don't need to. You've also got auto keystone built right in. So, if you have your projector set up at an angle, this will automatically straighten out any distortion to the image, which definitely cuts down time fiddling around manually with that keystone. Now, I've personally been toting around the M1 for uh, about a month now. And uh, for me, the image quality is like a mixed bag of emotions. Uh, for media consumption, it's great. I mean, you can get a 100 inch image at just under eight feet away, and the image is sharp all the way to the edges of the screen. The 250 lumens actually does a good job at providing a bright image, even with some ambient light coming through. The colors are bright and vivid. Uh, it's a dope little piece of tech, whether I'm laying in bed, projecting it at the ceiling, or out in my car, projecting it onto a wall for a makeshift drive-in movie theater, it always seemed to provide that wow factor. The downside is the resolution. It's only 480p. Now, like I said, for movies, it's great. You can see for yourself just how surprisingly good the image looks, but introduce any sort of text and that's where you'll be let down. Text is blurry and at times hard to read. This provides a poor experience in certain scenarios, namely browsing YouTube or any other websites that has loads of text on it. So navigating Netflix falls into that category as well. Now, how much are you actually looking at text on a projector screen? <laughs> exactly, not much. I mean, you're not doing any e-reading, so it's really not that big of a problem. Plus, that lower resolution really helps stretch that battery life out. I prefer battery over resolution. If I'm only getting an hour and a half and I'm struggling to get through one movie on a 720 or 1080p portable projector, then there's really no point in actually having that, right? 
Now, sure, there are plenty of better in-home projectors for the price, and if that's what you're going for, then by all means, pass this on by, look elsewhere. But if you want something fun and unique to take with you on camping trips or uh, really anywhere, then this definitely gets my seal of approval. And I could easily recommend this for anyone looking for a portable projector. Links, of course, will be down in that description. Check on them if you purchase it using that link. At no extra cost, it'll give a kickback to me and it really helps out the channel. As always, make sure that you like that smash button, check out some other content. If you really want to make me happy, smash that subscribe button. I'm signing off. I'll catch you guys on the next one.